Hello, guys, and welcome back to what appears to be the end of Resident Evil 3. Uh, so let's end this. Let's end this, shall we? Um. Oh, here. Let's end this, shall we? There is nothing here. This place is empty. Yeah, you're alive. Finally! You took a while. Die. Finish dying, please. Do I shoot you in the ass? Nice! I said Graves Diary. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state of the art medical tech while my dog is licking my elbow. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere at North America nowhere America. It was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey. I'm gonna immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. Uh, there was uh, this guy they they caught trying to smuggle out company company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the beaters. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into and my daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told, for their sake. But let this be a testament to that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. Too late, man. Gunpowder. You're alive. Nope. Okay. Do you have something? Nope. <laughs> Wife is fighting the dog. The dog is winning. Of uh, antigens and adjuvants in vaccine 
synthesis. Dr. Natalia Barr, Chief Research, uh, Researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and anti adjuvant, adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such response, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen adjuvant uh, samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This is not only this this not only makes a uh, this not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate exi existing infections. Is there more dialogue for this? No. Are you alive? No. Are you? No. Key successfully generated. What have we I need to put the... You know what? I'll do that right away. I mean... This is here. So... Um... That's good enough. Ah, oh, fuck off. You dead? I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, fuck off. I didn't saw you. Ah, damn it! I deserve that. No! Game. It's the second time this game treats me like a bitch. I mean, I know I am. But how could you? Bitch. I should have saved. Damn it. God damn it. Let's do this quick, shall we?
<laughs> you want to be a pacifier in a diaper. How dare you to speak the truth? How dare you? I mean, at least give me the... Uh, the adult diaper, please. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. All right, Magnum time. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? Yes. All right, got to figure this out. Override key successfully generated. This is only the, with the difficulty. Override key removed. Okay, there's no more items here, it's just the machine. Not that, this. Alright. Just in case. I don't want to do that again. Get fucked. Where's the other one? enough explosive Scientists dying message. What hap it's happened? Our worst case scenario, the T virus has some somehow leaked under orders of Dr. Pratt. I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I prepared a culture uh, of the T virus antigen. Now we just need to combine it with an adjuvant to enhance its effects. And it should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test uh, subjects are already wandering the halls, 
but I better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these hor uh, horrifying events in motion. Okay. Uh, do I go here first? Wait. Oh. What else is here? I mean, no kidding, what else is here? Oh. More acid rounds. Alright, let's go down here first. I don't think I can. This must be what powers it. Just die, please. Here do I go up? <sighs> Let me... I need to put some things... Do I go up first? upstairs first yeah I don't want to redo that how many bullets did I kept up for the four eh, it's all right all right <laughs> chilling there Can you fall? Thank you. Weapon reauthorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for all employees in, in interfacing with the admission and dismissal of the subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable at online below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to specimens as the pale heads. They... Oh, Shaylee! <laughs> they have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. 
if any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we will be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that the high-powered weaponry capable of society and the pale heads be issued to all of all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that, in event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration, Shipping and Person Manager Gabriel Reed. And you will get shit. slots I have? Two. I think there's a bubble head. Bubble head. Glad you said so because I don't see any bubble heads. No bubble head. There was no bubble head in that room. Who got up? but why so quickly there's a lot of them here <laughs> sure I completely agree with you, girl. <laughs> really? Oh, the way back down is going to be beautiful. No bubble heads here, right? I mean, there's a lot of bubble heads, but not the kind that I want. Ah, uh, no, there's a pale head there. You know what, let's use the acid. Out of the way. Oh, fuck off. Damn it. Oh, you fucked. I fucked up. I fucked up. Fall down. Don't worry, don't worry. I still have more bullets. Combine this. Uh, 
I still have more bullets for the Magnum. You know what? Just fucking die. Just making sure. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send the heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement, achievement in the field of bioweapons research, introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain. Oh, so it was a tyrant, and you got introduced a parasitic organism to gain external control of it. How can I not marvel such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must sympathetically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous pre uh, precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth. Uh, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course, my wife is being nuts next to me. Can you say the, the same of, for parasites? However, doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far from more genetical comp genetically complex than the T-virus and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. I have a parasite poking my, my, <laughs> my, my face now. I'm talking about parasites here. Perhaps in your country, consum consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. <laughs> sure. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a real marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. So this asshole starts complimenting and then starts giving shit about it and just talking crap. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month to crap out of you. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've you've foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Park. So it's called the Nemesis. It's Nemesis. It's not Nemesis, it's Nemesis. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to its immune system response. Muff. Bye bye. <laughs> He's salty as fuck, yes. Uh so do I just take a run for it? I don't think I can. Ah, oh, you fucking asshole. I shot him, and you saw it. Miss, he, he, oh fuck. He whooshed me at my ass. Yeah, it's bullshit, they can do that. Oh, 
Uh, sure, why not? Where's the acid round? So combined with this Just stay there Memesis. <sighs> An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Yeah, you know why? Because now I can magnum the crap out of the hunters. So the first one is going to appear here. We done? We done. Assholes. You want gonna wake up now? You? Where is Where is the mixin? Was it up here? No. It's outside. Yeah, Spunk is climbing around. Yes, he always does that. And he also stepped on my wife's boobs. And did all, all kind of crazy shit. Gonna take this two, combine this, load this. I need to shoot one more bullet so I can have more space. I'm not dealing with you right now. Alright. You awake now? Nope. What is this music then? Oh. 
guessing I need the wait Wait. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Yeah, because that's exactly how it works. You grab, you grab two tubes, two test tubes. You just mash them together, and you get one. The other games, they made you put them in a machine. So what was I supposed to do? There. All right. Where am I going now? It looks pretty and purple. Where am I going now? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Dog is attacking my way. Yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's next to you. Bubblehead? Have I found a bubblehead in this place? I don't think so. Ask Cam. Oh, is this one? Nah, no. Jill, you have a magnum. Ugh. You have a vaccine against what? Dying? Oh, just hold it. Okay. Frames. Frames. The frame is gone, but I'm still going. Don't worry. Want to get down and take cover? Yes, it went red and zero. So I guess. I got a lot of frames dropped. Ow. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna take this off. Uh, take this off. Plus it be. Uh, do I need the knife anymore? I mean, honestly, <laughs> three healing items might be good. I think I'm good like that. Probably can pack away the vaccine as well. Nope. Remember that here's where it's going to happen. Disposal center. 
This facility is to be used for the dissolution and disposal of the test subject used in Nest 2 experiments. The potent uh, solvents used will ensure that any biological matter within the bat, living or dead, is completely dissolved and ready for disposal. Please follow all safety protocols when using the disposal center. Always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before beginning the dissolution process. Always use the regulated amount of solvent, regardless of the volume of or mass being disposed of. If a test object reacts mildly, do not halt the disposal process. Leave the chamber filled with at least 12 uh, filled for at least 12 hours. Then check for complete dissolution before draining. Right. Yep. What is this fight? Name is this place? flame rounds so I'm using the flame rounds because because reasons uh, nemesis fight nemesis fight oh secret 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 there is no secrets. All right, let's go. Hello, Mimesis. No, 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 no. I don't play like that. Ow, ow. Jill, do you have a gun on your reach? The city needs that vaccine. More than I do. I don't think the wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. Now I know you can't put a price on life. I want to impart leather to you with a bullet. I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis. And I'll record it all and sell the combat. I'm gonna use the Magnum here. Put on a good show and because let's be honest, vaccine. for the other one you don't need the Magnum. Good. Asshole. Hello, pretty. Bye. Bye. Wow. You. 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 Oh. Have that. Oh. Ale toro, ale. Ah! Memesis, memesis. What the fuck with memesis? Jill, is that you, Carlos? Is he dead? You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. Oh. <coughs> Bye. Ow. Have this. Oh, fuck. Where are you? Watch it, you've got company. Yes, I know. Oh, fuck. Ahoo! I got smashed. Nemesis behave. Ah! 
You saw nothing. You hear me? You saw nothing. No, you didn't. My wife is... I saw your pretty face. <laughs> Being smashed away. Uh... Okay, flame rounds. Oh, those fucking zombies. Skip. Stay down. Woo! Stay. Oh, I'm missing. I mean, why not? Hey, you, dude. I press. Can you run. You asshole. Damn it! Yeah. Perfect. I press dodge. I press dodge. And I'm pressing dodge. Got some more incoming. Look out. Ooh. Kidding me? No game. Stupid ass game. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> this is not happening. This is not fucking happening. Why not? Jill, 
Was that you? Carlos? I press the button. I never seen these attacks. Okay, so it's gonna be shotgun. I got Here comes a crane. Use it to climb up. Come on. Come on. Smack. Now get on.
It was too much. It was too fucking much. Yes, you have to get the vaccine back, and I have to heal. Okay. All right. Let's see. Explosive A. Explosive A. Explosive B. Explosive B. Some other flame rounds. This to heal right now. Combine this. Combine with this. Uh, use this. Explosive rounds and first aid. I don't think I will. I'm gonna need the shotgun, but I am gonna need healing. There's more shit here. Ah, oh, weapon spec sheet. Projectile, ferromagnetic inf infantry used next generation railgun. Development codename finger. Yes, because I'm gonna get fingers. <laughs> Chief development test uh, two liter resistance there. Caliber six millimeters. Muscle velocity six thousand meters per second. Suppression of new bio weapons in case of outbreak. Oh yeah. Is yes, because of uh, bots. Uh, extreme firepower provides a secondary benefit of completing the terrain in the target, leaving no trace behind. Uh, this thing is totally rad. Head turn out of line. Turns out of line? Just give him the finger <laughs> and problem solve. Pack the firepower we need. It will be even better if there was a way to control the output. Mobility was proved to be problematic in the field. Perhaps this platform could be refined. Uh, it requires multiple power sources, may be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate it to a single power source? Yes, I'm gonna need all the healing I can. There's something else? Oh. Gunpowder. Maybe another healing might be good. All right, let's end this. Ah, let's end this. Asshole again. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You print money. I like that. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. Yeah. Let's do something. Nikolai, uh, just stay here and fight this thing. Now go. Have you 
Have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. But... Uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode. And you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe! Go after hey. Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Where do I? Yes, he needs. Of course, you woke up. Go ahead. I'm going to put you right back on your ass. Ah! Ah, damn it. Bed of Chaos, I completely agree. Whoops. I completely agree. Oh yes, let's remember. Let's fire Nikolai, right? Let's not do what Musu did. Not fire. Because he was waiting for the right moment. Obviously, I have to pick up everything, everything, yes, everything. I need to pick all the items before I leave. Because I, I am going to need it. There. 
completely completely dark. Let's equip the Magnum for the special location. Oh, yeah, that's right. Suspicious contract memo. Contract overview. Receive offer from clients seeking the, to use RC crisis to, un, to undermine and claim market share from UC via multi pronged strategy. A. Sabotage UC attempts to destroy evidence out, of outbreak to maximize cap, uh, culpability. B. Introducing counters between UC bioweapons and security forces law enforcement and collect combat data to a certain viability of tech. C. Report deployment of any new bioweapons including project and C. Specifications. Remuneration exceeds current offer from UC and takes top priority. However, the client has agreed to a grace period before using any of the deliverables so the payment of UC may also be collected. Didn't I got all the I didn't got all the notes. You're kidding me, right? I did not get uh, all the notes. Why? Oh, because there's still this. Let Nikolai get away with that vaccine. Okay, you kind of can. There's nothing here apparently. Carlos went after him. More notes? Bubble heads? Oh, damn it. I equipped the normal gun. Umbrella to drop. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And that is my cue. Goodbye. You smell unpowerful. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Jill, you don't you, you don't just have a weapon. You have a shotgun. You have a a, a grenade launcher. No, without bullets. You have a magnum. Aim. There's no other way. I need to shoot him with my aim. Take the shot. Fuck you. Carlos. <laughs> hey, if I was close. In a Carlos's world, that would just be too cruel. I was fucking close. <laughs> Do it. You always hit me. I'm pretty sure if you missed, you you game over. Even letting the world burn. Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here, I'll pay you whatever you want. You're, You're a fool. Never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Is the audio synced? We 
because he keeps popping in and out. This distance, even with the helicopter, no way. You get fucked by radiation or just the push. By the way, I saw already. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. I saw what the achievement for this speedrun is. It's less than two hours. Less than two fucking hours. Usually Resident Evil's are less than three hours. I don't know why this is less than two. But I knew Muse already done all this. Already did all this, I guess. Hmm. So! Resident Evil is finally done. Memesis is done. Memesis is dead. Ah! Alright. Poor Memesis. Infinite rocket launcher, big. Uh, big, big skills, yes. Especially when you use a rocket launcher with a zombie next to you and you explode too. Oh no, my wife gra grabbed the Cheetos and, and Spunky, wake up. Obviously, my wife just grabs the Cheetos and Spunky, there he goes. Mommy, mommy, give me, give me. Um, imagine rocket la rocket launcher with my aim. I guess you heard my way of laughing. That's how much she, she loves me. Spunky, attack her. Do your spunky bites. So, I'm not playing it. Uh, I have Resident Evil 4. Not playing it right away. Maybe later, another time. I don't even remember if it damages you. Probably not much. <laughs> Probably not much. That's that's something to risk for. My dog wants a Cheeto. Now I'm not giving. Remember the phrase, Punky. People ask, and Rasa gives a fuck what you want. That's a phrase. Yes. Um. <laughs> so, what's next? Metro Exodus. Never played a Metro game. Just seen a couple of things I'm not even I, I I haven't even I haven't even watched an entire playthrough of uh, a Metro game uh, the speed room wasn't even the worst the worst is to play I uh, play it at the highest difficulty yeah but I bet mostly is just dodging and pushing and 
running. Running away from things. Mm, push it, baby, push it. Rocket launcher abuse, obviously. Is there other way to play this game? Without a rocket launcher abuse? <laughs> I know you see my dog trying to get in the camera. Daddy, give me, give me the cheeto. Give me some cheetos. Give me some puff puffs. Uh, actually, these are puff cheetos. So, if you grab two cheetos, you get puff puff. If you know what that means. Uh, so I played the original and the remake. I cannot say which is better because they did change a couple, a lot of things. Uh, they did change a lot of things. Even with my screaming and trying to dodge, uh, I think I think the original one actually got me scared quite a t quite a few times. Uh, with the crows and Nemesis just appearing and I'm uh, just entering a door and the first thing I see is Nemesis already jumping to my face. Yeah, basically you cannot compare them. There's no way to compare both games because even the story is kind of different. And the Nemesis fights too. Um, also, there's no bubble heads. I will say, it's not that it's short. My problem is not, it's not that it's short. Because almost Resident Evils are short. Especially if you know what you're doing. It's more that Resident Evil 2 had two campaigns, Claire and Leon. Even playing A, B, which, uh, which whatever. But this is just one campaign. That is my problem. Uh, I think they could have done more. They're still fun though. Still fun game. I liked it. Uh, so another time we'll play uh, Resident Evil 4, my least favorite Resident Evil game. I'll play 4. Um, there's not really a difference between Claire and Leon. All matters is A and B independent of the character. Yes. Yeah, but it's more mostly that you play with different characters and different kind of different scenarios. It's it still has more replayability than this one. This one is not that much. And I'm surprised I didn't get all the all the notes. I'm kinda surprised about that. Oh Muse, remember when you when you were missing a note? I remember I was helping you getting the achievements. Now that now that I remember, yeah. Oh yeah, fuck that, right? Anyway, let's see our ending screen. Let's see my rank. Please give me an F. It was just that one note on the side of the door. Yes, you missed the last fucking note. That 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 was annoying, man. Missing only the last note. Happens, yes, I know. For example, I don't even know which note I, I missed. I'm a survivor. I got C. Oh! Like my name. Uh, got a C. I died 11 times. I don't remember if I ever died this much in a wrestling game. Well, 
four, five, yes, I died this many times. Probably, probably even more. Uh, I saved 42 times. Clear time, seven hours and 43 minutes. It's very short. You can cheese the death count by loading every time. Yes, I know. I know I, I, I cheat a lot, but not not like that. Total playtime, nine hours, one minute. So that is my playtime. But clear time doesn't take when you die, then. I yeah, know, it's dumb. Um, so... That's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and YouTube, and all that crap, and follow me on Twitch. It's better, you know it. Ah, uh, we finished another Resident Evil game. I mean, I still have the first one, Resident Evil 1. I still have Resident Evil 0. And I have Resident Evil 4. But, uh, 0 and, and 1. Maybe later. 4. 4 I only played once in my life, so... Um, anyway, so, I'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.